This is without a doubt the craziest offseason we've ever had for college football. The transfer portal has essentially become a free agency like in all of major sports, which in a way has actually made the offseason for college football that much more exciting. A number of players have already transferred to brand new programs, but there are still a number of great players still sitting in the transfer portal. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 10 best quarterbacks who have yet to transfer. Before we get to today's list, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to the channel. If you're watching this video, odds are this is the first video on my channel that you've watched, so make sure to subscribe for future college football videos. Also, if you could take a second and give this video a like, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps share the video with more college football fans, plus it only takes a second to do. If this video reaches 500 likes, one of these quarterbacks will end up at your school next season. We'll start this list with a player I just posted a video on, Keaton Slovis. By the way, make sure you guys go and check out that video if you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend it. After a terrific true freshman season, he dealt with multiple injuries over the last two years. Still, Slovis was a first team all Pac-12 performer in 2020 and has the talent to be one of the top quarterbacks in all of college football when he's healthy. In his three seasons with the Trojans, he threw for over 7,500 yards with 58 passing touchdowns. Out of all the players I'm going to be talking about for this video, I believe that Slovis is the best of the group. It's going to be really exciting to see where he ends up. Up next, we have Bo Nix, who I also made a video on shortly after he announced he was transferring. Just another reason for you guys to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I didn't include this information in my video as I just learned about this. Bo Nix indicated in his portal submission that he does not want to be contacted by other schools. Now, that's something that you rarely see FBS players do, and when they do, it's usually because they already know which program they're going to be going to. So where does Bo Nix want to transfer to? That's the million dollar question. As I mentioned in my video, I know that he has the talent to be a really good quarterback. The only question is, can he showcase that talent over a full game, let alone an entire season? Well, if he already knows where he wants to go, maybe he can. Up next, we have Adrian Martinez, who I also did a video on. Seriously, this is turning into a personal plug at this point, so make sure you guys subscribe so you catch all these videos. Adrian Martinez is certainly a fascinating name in the portal. He was at Nebraska for about 11 seasons and ultimately decided that now was his time to leave. His freshman year was amazing as he totaled 3,500 yards with 25 total touchdowns. But ever since then, he's just been trending in the opposite direction. Maybe a change of scenery will be good for him. He's dealt with injuries while in Nebraska, along with zero offensive line help and zero offensive weapons. Maybe if he gets both of those, he'll actually have a solid year. This is a guy who was getting Heisman buzz just a few years ago, so maybe he can tap into that for his 16th and final season of college eligibility. Dylan Gabriel is a really fun name in the transfer portal, and he's been here almost longer than anyone. He decided to leave UCF right when their season ended, after having an amazing career there. He missed most of the season though, after suffering an injury in only the third game of the season. In his 26 games with the Knights, Gabriel threw for over 8,000 yards with 70 passing touchdowns. He's been one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football over the last few years, and I don't blame him for wanting to give himself a shot for a Power 5 team. There have been a lot of rumors surrounding him going to either Ole Miss or UCLA, and personally, I'd love to see him with Lane Kiffin at Ole Miss. We saw what kind of a quarterback Matt Corral turned into this season, and I think Gabriel would light up the stat sheet if he went to the Rebels. He might not be the biggest name on this list, but he certainly has a chance to be the most productive in 2022. If you don't know the name Cameron Ward yet, now is your chance to get familiar. He's the best quarterback at the FCS level, and he'll be hoping to come to the FBS next season. During the spring, he won the Jerry Rice Award, given to the top freshman in the FCS. He threw for over 2,200 yards and 24 touchdowns in only six games. Then, this fall, he followed it up by leading all FCS quarterbacks in passing touchdowns while ranking number three in passing yards. The numbers he put up in 2021 were insane. He threw for just under 4,700 yards and had 47 passing touchdowns. He's 6'3 and 225 pounds, so he's already got the size to be a really good quarterback at the next level. We just gotta see what he's able to do at the FBS level. But this is certainly an under the radar kind of name to really keep an eye on for next season. Someone's going to be getting the gem for sure. We'll start with one of the two LSU quarterbacks currently in the transfer portal. Miles Brennan only started three games during his five years at LSU and had to miss the last 19 games due to injuries. 
There are many people who firmly believe in his talent, but we just never really saw it on the field. In the three starts he made in 2020 though, he looked damn good. He threw for over 1100 yards with 11 passing touchdowns. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but that's a pace of 4400 yards and 44 passing touchdowns over just a 12 game season. Could he put up those numbers over a full year as a starter? Maybe. But until we see it, we'll just never know. Max Johnson is the other quarterback from LSU who entered the transfer portal as well. We have a much bigger sample size from him as he's appeared in 18 games over the last few years. He's thrown for nearly 4,000 yards with 35 passing touchdowns and only 7 interceptions. He's had a number of big games, and he's yet another underrated quarterback who could thrive under the right situation. Up next, we have Chuba Purdy, who just hasn't lived up to expectations while with the Seminoles. Purdy came into Florida State with a lot of hype, but injuries prevented him from making any kind of impact while at Florida State. After undergoing four different procedures in eight months, Purdy is healthy and ready to go for 2022. He started one game as a true freshman, but appeared in only four games over his first two years. During his time, he's attempted only 58 passes and has thrown for 300 yards with four touchdowns and an interception. After sticking around for three years and finally getting his opportunity, Zach Calzada entered the portal. He spent two seasons as a backup quarterback for Texas A&M and he entered the 2021 season behind Haynes King on the depth chart. Due to an injury, Calzada finally got his opportunity to start. On the season, he threw for 2,200 yards with 17 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. But he'll always be remembered for his game against Alabama when he played the game of his life. In A&M's upset over the number one team in the country, Calzada threw for nearly 300 yards with 3 passing touchdowns. The final quarterback on our list is Jack Miller. The Ohio State quarterback room was way too crowded, with four quarterbacks all in there who at one point were listed as a five-star recruit. Even before Quinn Ewers decided to transfer, Miller decided to put his name in the transfer portal, saying that it would be unlikely that he'd play at least until 2023. Miller did see some backup duty in 2021, receiving most of his playing time against Akron when Stroud was injured and unable to play. During that game, he came in after Kyle McCord and completed 5 of 8 passes for 66 yards. So that wraps up this list of the top 10 quarterbacks to keep an eye on that are still in the transfer portal. Where do you think some of these quarterbacks are going to end up? Is there a quarterback on here who you really hope ends up at a certain school? Drop a comment down below and let me know. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you love college football, then this is definitely the place for you. Also, make sure to give this video a like as well. Just give it a quick thumbs up before you go. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.